I know what you did. Hey Siri, what did I do? Here are a few things you can try. What? What time I is- I found this on the web. Girl, quit cutting me off! You know what, uh, never mind. Right now, we're gonna be checking out the scariest text chat ever. And I just wanna say, thank you guys for being my friends. And friends click the subscribe button for their friends. Yeah, we're on the road to 15 million subscribers, so, you know, if you wanna help the channel get there, just click it. And yeah, comment down below what kind of phone you have. Do you have an iPhone 14? Do you have an iPhone 12? Or do you have an iPhone 7? Or an Android? Let me know. And let's go! Honey, I'm outside your school. Sorry I was late. I'm already on my way home. Oh, you got a ride? You sent an Uber for me. No, I didn't. <gasps> Mom, I'm in the Uber right now. I didn't call one. We aren't going the right way. Get out of the car. It's fine. He says he knows you. Oh my gosh. You dummy. He says he's an old friend. Uh, uh What's the driver's name? Bernie. Get out of the car. Bro. You're screwed. The, do the doors are locked. How are y'all typing so fast? He says it's not safe for boys to be- Wait, what? It's not safe for boys to be what? To be black? Let me know. He won't pull over. He says it's not safe for boys. Oh, dang. Well, you're screwed, man. He done put on the child safety lock and uh, nothing you can do. I mean, you could try to like punch him or something, but like, dang. The lesson is uh, if somebody pulls up and says like, oh, hey, I'm your Uber. No, they're not. Call your mom first and triple check before you get in the car. It's not worth it, man. I mean, dang, that's a scary text. Like if I'm in the Uber and then they're like, uh, that's not your Uber, I'm like, well, too late now. And why does it say phony at the top? <laughs> what the heck? It's supposed to say phone, not phony. Who's phony? I think a lot about the story behind this picture. No matter how many times I tell it, it's still chilling. In the 18th <gasps> district of Hong Kong in the early 2000s, this picture was captured outside of an apartment window. What the news articles described was that witnesses saw her, she appeared to be having some kind of psychotic episode, and they thought that was the end of it. It was just a midday bizarre disruption. What they didn't know was that this person would become the primary suspect in one of the worst murders the 18th district would ever see. Roughly 40 minutes maybe after that picture was taken and about two miles from the location, a family home of nine was broken into with only one person surviving that attack. Now, the sole survivor of the attack was able to give Ugh. a witness testimony to the police. This is the only photo they've ever run up the suspect on television. But what he described she did almost sounded inhuman. Breaking bones, ripping people's jaws, open with her bare hands what? even a report that she tried to eat people this frame is the only one we got of her are you serious and you guys haven't caught her yet i would say this girl looks angry but she ain't got no eyebrows i mean like how am i supposed to tell like if i had to guess i would guess that you're angry but like you know the eyebrows are fading or the sketch artist just didn't draw them in good enough you gotta color it in my boy you gotta darken it up she literally looks evil i mean gee like why are you looking like a disney villain right now we don't have time for this girl there's a crazy girl on the loose. Oh, wait, wait, no, it's you. You're the crazy girl. Mm -hmm. Hey, we caught her. Okay, all right, all right, we'll figure it out. Heard about the supernatural presence some hikers have seen? Have you heard about better sweaters? <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. Apparently, multiple hikers who have been in the same extreme survival situations reported seeing the same ghostly presence. It's known as the third man syndrome, and it's when a supernatural presence appears to give comfort and encouragement to someone. So in 1983, James Sevigny and his friend Richard were hiking in the Canadian Rockies. They were up part of a mountain when all of a sudden James hears this thunderous roar coming from up the mountain. And as he looks up, there's just thousands of tons of snow pummeling straight towards him. James and Richard get hit hard, and when James wakes up, he's in bad shape. His body had been tumbled around like socks in a dryer. He had all these broken bones and internal bleeding. Ugh. And so he thinks this is it. He just lays down and accepts it. But 20 minutes later, he feels this person come up behind him, and he's under the snow, mind you. And this person says, you can't give up, you have to live. And somehow James crawls out of the snow where he sees two cross-country skiers in the distance, and they come over and rescue him. Richard unfortunately didn't make it, but James lived. Some people attribute this to guardian angels, but what do you think? Uh, I mean, maybe. I mean, I guess it's possible. What do I think? I think I'm not gonna go skiing. I stay my black butt away from the snow. You know why? Because it's dangerous. I don't know, man. It's just it's just a little too many unknowns out there. I'm not gonna go to the snow. You can bring some snow to me. Like, you know where they, they'll like put snow in your front yard from a machine. They just like, you know, spray snow out there. That's about it. I'm not doing anything else. And you can't make me, girl. You can't make me. But you think 
think we can make her go on a date? I don't know, maybe, not for me, for, for a friend, okay? Nah, look where we paused the video, she's blinking. Come on, girl, keep your eyes open. If you see another person that looks identical Crazy you, kitty. Run away and hide. Uh. <gasps> oh, heck no. Oh, that's terrifying. This cat is so confused. Look at his little paws. They're so small. How can you stand on those little things? This cat had no idea what it was about to see. I mean, I swear, if I see that, I'm throwing the grenade in there, baby, and I'ma shut the door, blow it up, and call it a day. Ain't gonna scare me like that. Like, bro, uh, yeah, you ain't gonna do nothing. Let's see if you have entomophobia. I'm going to show you five photos. If you feel too uncomfortable to make it to the fifth photo, then you could have photo. entomophobia. So let's go. Okay. Number one. Uh, fear of insects? Like yeah, fear of insects. Feeling uncomfortable yet? Yeah. Nearly there. Ow! Last one. That's nasty. If those images made you feel uneasy, then you could have entomophobia, which is the fear of insects. Hey! Follow now to see if you can make it through the next phobia test. And let's see if you can make it to the barbershop. I mean, that, we just gotta trim, 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 that's all. Why in the heck is this girl eating grasshoppers? What, they ran out of chicken nuggets for lunch? I mean, uh, come on now. I swear, white people always eating nasty things. They're like, ooh yeah, I try bull testicles. No, that's disgusting, okay? I mean, don't eat grasshoppers, crickets, and dang bugs. You cancel, girl. And guess what? I can see your Invisalign from here. I was working out in my apartment gym when I got this text message. No, you weren't. I can see you. <gasps> Ooh, is this a coincidence or should I run for my life? Run for your life and ask questions later. That's bad. I mean, gee, you got that homeboy staring at you in the reflection. Just run. Don't keep running on the treadmill, girl. Run your butt back home. Take your skinny booty back to your apartment, okay? Lock the doors and get your grenades ready, okay? You know, I mean, if I'm going to war, if somebody's chasing me, stalking me, I'm like, Whoa, one grenade for you, one grenade for you. Blow everybody in the club to smithereens. I hope you like being blowed up, yeah. This guy is about to get attacked and dragged by a demon in his sleep. Uh, well that sucks. Sir, <gasps> you okay? Oh jeez, okay bro. Let him go. That ghost was not playing any games. Also, take a look at what time that happened at. Demon hour. Like, follow for more videos like this. No, I ain't following squat. Dang. But guys, please follow me. Like, <laughs> you sleeping in the wrong bed, man. Seriously, a twin bed? Like, bro, you gotta get your butt a queen. I mean, I sleep in a king, you know what I'm saying? But, but you gotta get yourself at least, at least a queen bed. That's why the demon was picking you up. He's trying to take you to a better bed. He's like, come on, man. Let, here, let, let, just, just, just go with me. Let me take you to a dang sleep number bed. Quit resisting. You know what I mean? If you are inside your home with the lights out, do not look outside your window. Turn on your lights before you look through any window. Do not leave your <gasps> home if you see a figure outside. Even if he is turned away, do not look at him. Lock all doors and windows before turning off all lights inside Dang your girl. residence. Hide in a small space and call authorities. This is a lot do of not work. move from hiding unless you hear an unfamiliar voice. If you do hear a familiar voice coming from inside your home, do not move. He is inside. He ah! Oh heck no. Okay, I got chills. Anybody else get like goosebumps? You see the goosebumps? Look at all the goosebumps. And who the heck has a cat clock? Really? That's why your place haunted. Keeping a cat clock on the wall, that thing is scary. I bet it doesn't even tell time correctly. Maybe next time, girl, uh live somewhere else. All these people living in houses where like the real estate agent is like, Oh yeah, the house has been known to be haunted. And then people like you are like, ooh, fun. No, it's not fun. Especially when somebody hiding in your closet, waiting to smack your lip. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll make it. She ain't gonna make it. But yeah, go ahead, click on the screen and watch another one. Yeah, man.